Oh hey! <laughs> What's the crack everyone? It's ZZ Gaming Rolls back with another video. Today's video is on the new Odd World, new and tasty. Um yeah, this game is awesome. I love the I think it was nineteen ninety seven when the original first came out, but um yeah, they were pretty awesome games, if I do say so. Um, so yeah, we're gonna crack on t into this game. I'll show you a bit of game speak first. So, you press the up button to say hello. Hello. Follow me. Wait. Follow you. You, 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 you. Right. Oh, yes! <laughs> that is the best thing in this game. <laughs> All right, we're ready to go. Let's play this game. Uh -huh. We're gonna put it on hard because let me tell you a thing about this game is that uh, obviously the old original games had no difficulty level, so to match the old game you have to put it on hard because you only get one life on hard. If you put it on like easy or um, easy or normal, uh, I think you can get like shot more than once by a slig so it's not really the same as the first one so we're gonna go on hard mode uh-huh uh -huh. follow me let's enjoy the new cinematic oh ah. here we go Disrupt your farms. They say it's the biggest meat processing plant on Oddworld. That is horrible. I used to work here. Well, I was really a slave, like all the others. Slaving these poor Madakans. Rupture forms. That's me. My name is Abe. Hey, I Abe. was employee of the year. Now I'm dead meat. Oh. I crossed the meanest boss in the world. Mullet the Gluckin. He does look scary. My whole life changed. In just one day. I was working late one night. At Rupture Farms. We used to make beach munchies. Mm. Until the beaches were through. Damn. We still made pyramid pies. Mm. And we made some good scrap cakes, too. Mm. I thought I had a good job, but that was before I knew how we'd make new and tasty. I was still to find. New and tasty? What could that be? That sounds delicious. The truth, it turned out. Now that would blow my mind. The Gluckins were scared because profits were grim. Paramites and scrabs had been turning up thin. Watch. But Mullet was cool. He was pretty cool. He had a plan. <laughs> this new kind of meat? It was us! Oh my god! 
Run, Abe! Run! Goddamn slaughterhouse. Run, Abe! I just had to escape. I just had to be free. Yes, Abe. But I didn't even know I had a destiny. So, get me out of here! Get me out of here. Alright. They have done such a beautiful job on this remake of Abe's Odyssey. I mean, just look at that. Look, look at that background detail. Brilliant. Alright, here we go. I'm guessing the buttons are pretty much the same. Come on, cookie. Yes! <laughs> Alright, so now we're playing as a sleep. Boom! Oh! That looked really good. So for anyone who hasn't a clue about this game, um, basically what I just did there is I chanted and when Abe chants he can basically control one of these um, sligs. They're called sligs. And um, yeah. So we're gonna enchant now and take over this slick. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, sorry, I <laughs> forgot the bloody slick can jump. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> yeah, you laugh, babe. Come on, let's get out of here, man. Um, if anyone's wondering, like, oh my god, man, you know exactly what you're doing! Uh, it's pretty much because I played so much of the old game, uh, of the original Abe, and... Hello. Hello. Follow me. Okay. Um, I pretty much remember a lot of it, anyway. They've changed this. This is different. Okay, so your objective of the game is to basically save all those Mudokans. And um, that's Abe's job. You have to go throughout the entire game and try and save as many Mudokans as you can. So you have to take these guys and we're gonna save them. That's like, um, that's basically a portal you can just open up uh, to save them. So now we've got a problem. See that um, that machine up in the air? If I chant, that will zap me. So uh, you had to basically make sure the slig would drop down that hole. There are the kind of little tricks. Oh shit! There are the little tricks you come across in these ga in this game. Sometimes you can chant. Sometimes you can. Here you can. Help me! It's so fun. <laughs> it's so fun. And the graphics are just amazing. Is that all of them? Yeah. They're going in there! Wait. Don't say wait, man. I was supposed to be waiting. Hell, mommy! <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> that was good. I love the way Abe does that really creepy laugh every time he kills one. 
Okay, and um, the steam vents basically are the the slicks can't see you, so we have to sneak in and out of the steam vents. Okay. I'll wait for him. And I'm gonna drop the slick into down that hole there. Run, guys! Run like the wind! Hold on, we have to save these guys too. Oh shit! The trick to that is every four ticks you then press the bomb button which is X so you, you can actually hear the beat it, um, every fourth one it gets a bit louder so it's like dilu 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 and then you get like, if you kind of do a pattern in your head you can kind of um, you can kind of get it going like you know you know when exactly when to push the bomb button but sometimes it always doesn't sometimes it doesn't always work out takes time to uh, get used to it. Nice one, Abe. Wait, no. Yep. Run, Lugakin! So we're gonna try and save as many Mudakins as we can. Oh shit. Alright, this ain't good. Okay, we need a plan here. Everybody, hello, follow me. Let's go. Wait. Okay. Okay. Wait, time's over. Time's over. Fuck it, Jesus! Oh man, that gave me a heart attack. That really did. Oh man, this game can get pretty tricky, guys. So, basically what we're gonna do... We have to try and kill that sleek somehow. No. I'm gonna have to disarm the bomb. To do. No! I didn't do it. I actually failed on disarming the bomb. How good am I? Oh <laughs> shit! I didn't. Oh my god. All right. Okay. All right. Sorry, guys. We don't have to save these guys, it's just nice to save them. Um, basically what happens is I think if you don't save over like half the amount of Mudakins you're supposed to, um, you'll get a bad ending. If you save more, then you'll get the good ending. So. Hello. Hello. Follow me. Okay. Wait here. Okay. We're gonna have to
to kill this guy somehow. Wait, time's over. Oh, if I can get a run at this. Yes! And we nailed it. Yes, we did. We nailed it. Now let's not die and have to do it again. Wow. God damn it! And just when I say let's not die. Calm down, stop rushing. There's no need to rush. I'm just moving him so he doesn't die from like the bomb blast or something. Alright, we did this once before. We can do it again. And we nail it once more. Now, take your god. I'm gonna roll. Let's go slowly. <laughs> that looks hilarious. Go! Yes! Okay. Alright, see, so look, if we hadn't come down here, we would have missed out on five Mudakins. Be free! Um. And if you go this way, I'm sure there is one Madokan that you can save. Even though it wastes a bit of time. Um, but... Still, I mean, why not save the one Madokan? He's trapped. I don't know if, like, I kind of forget if you come back this way later on in the game and maybe you save him then, I don't know, but... I just come here and I save him now. See? then I go back. <laughs> but I'm guessing you actually come back. I totally forget. It's been years. It's been years, damn it. Don't blame me. Work all day, work all night. You see it. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's continue with the game. Let's not die. Yes, okay, we're safe. And you continue up this elevator. Oh, sorry, down this elevator. That is different from the first game. I think in the first game you go into a door and like Abe like just runs down a lot of stairs or however he gets down. Something like that. What's this way? Huh. A dead end. Oh wait, I think I can actually remember. Damn. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> uh, if you can see, did you notice you can actually see the animals that are about to be killed? They're going along the conveyor belt. And they're gonna go in now to the chopper. Are they? Yeah. But it's cool. You can actually see there's a lot of stuff going on in the background that you should really take notice of. Because um, they've done a really good job in this game. So we're gonna get ourselves a bomb. Up we go! Hello, Slick! Alright, so we have to somehow kill that slig and we didn't kill him there we go and there we go alright that wasn't a bad level 
Now let me just explain one more thing to you. Um, this is basically the end of level 1. So once you leave here, any Mudokans that you didn't save will just automatically die and be put. they'll be put into the death list. And in this game there's a lot of secret areas, a lot of secret areas that you can find, but I just said I wouldn't bother with them for this video. Maybe sometime I might do it. But anyway, let's continue. God damn Abe. Oh shit. Abe, no. Oh god. Abe, what have you done? The stock yards. Right. So, um Let's give it an all pause there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end part one here, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed my new and tasty part one. Um, I probably will come back and play some more of this because I really enjoy this game. And, you know, it's um, I think I find it's a good, a good enough video to be putting up on YouTube. So, if you did, like always, if you did like the video, please subscribe to my channel and put a like on the video. And, um, yeah. Uh, this is ZZ Gaming Rolls, and I hope to see you in part two or my next video. Whichever one! Bye!